DNA replication in prokaryotes is the process in which nucleotides are added to the 3' end of the growing strand of DNA by DNA polymerase 3. The strand grows in 5' prime to 3' prime, that is 3' prime to 5' prime direction and the template is read in 3' prime to 5' prime direction. Primer serves as starter sequence for DNA polymerase 3. The RNA primer has 3' prime OH group to which the first nucleotide bound that is the starting point of DNA replication. The various components for DNA replication are DNA polymerase needed for deoxynucleotide polymerization, helicase for processive unwinding, topoisomerase for relieving the torsional strain produced by helicase. RNA primase that initiates synthesis of RNA primers, single stranded binding proteins that prevent premature binding or premature formation of double helix again. So these are some of the important components of DNA replication with which the process starts. DNA replication can broadly be divided into three phases initiation, elongation and termination. Initiation DNA A recognizes and binds to OEC at 9 mers and melting starts at 13 mer with DNA B. 9 mer region is the region where DNA A binds and identifies origin that is OEC and 13 mer is an AT rich region where melting starts. Helicase largely aids in this melting process. Origin of replication in prokaryotes is single that is monoreplicanic. Helicase opens the helix and forms a loop and SSB that is single strand binding protein prevents rewinding of DNA. DNA G serves as a primase that comes in to synthesize the primer that provides 3' OH where new nucleotide adds. Here you can see the diagram. Take a close look at it. You can see the leading strand being synthesized continuously. So, this is called continuous synthesis and the lagging strand is being synthesized discontinuously. The Okazaki fragments are approximately 1200 nucleotides long in prokaryotes while 200 nucleotides long in eukaryotes. Topoisomerase, see where it's uh, getting attached to the DNA. Topoisomerase removes helical twists by cutting a DNA strand and then releasing the cut. It alters the supercoiling of double stranded DNA and catalyzes the relaxation of supercoiled DNA. Next coming to elongation. DNA polymerase binds beside the primer and leading strand synthesis occur in 5' to 3' direction. Replication rate in prokaryotes is 1000 nucleotides per second whereas in eukaryotes it's 100 nucleotides per second. In the lagging strand we can see Okazaki fragments which are short sequences of DNA nucleotides that are synthesized discontinuously and later linked together by DNA ligase to give rise to the lagging strand. These are formed as double stranded intermediates during the synthesis of lagging strand. Beta clamp is a component of DNA polymerase enzyme that encircles a primer template and tethers DNA polymerase 3 holoenzyme to DNA for possessive replication of the genome and prevents the enzyme from dissociating from the template DNA. 
This is how the elongation process goes on. Then we finally come to the termination phase. Replication terminates at terminal region called termination sites or ter sites. These are 23 base pair sequences that act as recognition site for TAS protein or terminus utilization substance. This blocks the movement of DNA B that is helicase. Therefore, there is no helicase activity. Orientation of TAS protein marks the termination of DNA replication. Thereafter, the Okazaki fragments, they become linked together by DNA ligase as I have said earlier to give rise to the complete strand. So this is the entire process of DNA replication in prokaryotes in brief.